Hello all, we're going to do a quick product rule and quotient rule problem. So for the product rule, the function I'm going to be using is this 2x cubed plus x, all times e to the x. For the quotient rule, we're going to be using x cubed all divided by x squared plus x to the fifth. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the product rule. Now I have written out the product rule up here, just so we can all see it, and if you have two functions, the f and g, and they're being multiplied together, we think of this first function as being f, second function as being g, right? Uh, if you take these two functions and multiply them together and you need the derivative, which is what we need, uh, this is the order in which you need to assemble the original function f, derivative of g, the original function g, and the derivative of f. So there we go, this is the product rule, and let's just go ahead and find all of those pieces. So first of all, f prime, the derivative of this first function here is just going to be uh, 6x squared plus 1, right? g prime, we also need that bit of information. The derivative of e to the x is just going to be e to the x. So now we have every bit of information that we need in order to use the product rule. So apparently the derivative of this product of two functions is going to be the original first function, in this case 2x cubed plus x, times the derivative of the second function, the derivative of the second function we just said was e to the x, plus the second function itself, which is also e to the x, and then times the derivative of the first function, and the derivative of the first function is 6x squared plus 1. At this point the derivative is done. We don't have to do anything more uh, with the derivative, but we can clean this up a little bit and make it a bit nicer to look at. So let's do so. There's two terms here. There's an e to the x in both of them. So let's factor that e to the x out. When we do so, we're just left with 2x cubed plus x from the first term and a 6x squared and a 1 from the second term. You can leave it in this order. Most mathematicians are going to write 2x cubed plus 6x squared uh, plus x plus 1 but it's no simpler than this, and I'm perfectly happy leaving it here, so it's going to stay. So, problem's done. Next problem, quotient rule. This rule is also very similar to the uh, product rule. It is assembled, you just take the denominator, the bottom function of g, and so we're going to have the bottom function g times the derivative of the top function f minus the top function f times the derivative of the bottom function g all over the bottom function g squared. So in this case, we are thinking of this x cubed as being our top function, f. And we are thinking of this x squared plus x to the fifth as being our bottom function, g. And so just like the last problem, we need to know the derivative of f and the derivative of g. So we need to know the derivative of f and the derivative of g before we can move forward here. Now you don't always have to write these down separately, I'm just doing it to be clear. But in this case, the derivative of f is 3x squared. The derivative of g is 2x plus 5x to the fourth. Now that we have all of the necessary derivatives, we can just assemble it using the quotient rule. So we're assembling the derivative of h using the quotient rule. The, the quotient rule says if you want to find the derivative of a quotient of functions like this, it's going to be the bottom function, which is, in our case, x squared plus x to the fifth times the derivative of the top, we said the top function is going to be 3x squared, minus the top function, 3x, up oh, wrong, minus the top function, which is x cubed, uh, times the derivative of the bottom. And the derivative of the bottom is this 2x plus 5x to the fourth. And all of that sits in our numerator here. And all of this is going to be over the original function g squared. And so we're not really going to square this out. We are lazy mathematicians, and we are just going to write squared above it and leave it be. Now this is the derivative. But again, it's unsimplified, a little bit messy. So let's go ahead and simplify it. So what we're going to do is we're going to distribute this 3x squared to everything. And oh, let me make the fraction bar here. OK. So you distribute the 3x squared and you're going to get 3x to the 4th plus 3x to the 7th, right? 
Next up, we're going to take this x cubed and distribute it through the other uh, factor. And this is going to be 2x to the fourth, and then plus 5x to the seventh. Oh, scratch that. It's not plus, it's minus, right? Because we're bringing the negative sign through. So let's go ahead and change that. Got to be careful here. And we're just leaving that denominator right where it is. We don't need to change a thing on that. And lastly, we have like terms. There's an x to the fourth and a negative 2x to the fourth. So this just becomes a single x to the fourth after you subtract those. There's a 3x to the seventh minus a 5x to the seventh. So 3 minus the 5 is going to give us a negative 2x to the seventh. This is going to be our numerator. Our denominator stays exactly as we had it before. And that's it. So this is a good example of the product rule and the quotient rule. You certainly don't need to write out all of this extra information here whenever you do your own product or quotient rules. You can just go ahead and write it out on the line the way I did down below it. But if you are having trouble, sometimes it can be helpful to write all of the pieces out before you assemble them. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm always uh, reachable in my office or in class. And happy mathing.